Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are taking a look at Skintle and Heptabase and comparing the two applications because that has been something uh, that uh, people have wanted me to do in my comment section after the new Skintle update. I think that they are more different now than they were before uh, and we will jump into both applications, look at the things that are similar and look at the differences but we will start off with looking at the pricing. So for those of you who haven't checked out these applications, um, Squintle is the more expensive one. This is in uh, Norwegian Kroners and it has like uh, what I call or what is called uh, local pricing. So the price might differ depending on where you live. But in Norwegian Kroners, this will set you back to 119 Kroners, which is around 20. 1 ish uh, dollars it is really hard to do the conversation uh, conversion sorry uh, to do the conversion like precisely because uh, it fluctuates a lot but around 21 uh, this is around 130 uh, maybe a little more uh, close to 130 USD and this three year plan is 300 and 19 318 something around 320 that is probably the best way of uh, putting it but it is a little hard to do the conversion on this but it is more expensive than heptabase which offers a yearly plan at 8.99 a month um and it also offers a monthly plan of uh, 11.99 each month so more expensive than this uh, you get in uh, heptabase you get all of the features in scrintle if you go for the monthly plan you don't have priority support and you can't get community calls with the team not that they are necessarily a huge part of the experience but i would like to have priority support on the monthly plan as well uh, now uh, let's take a look at the different applications. So let's start off with the basic like um, organization inside of Heptabase. And uh, the organization is quite simple. Uh, you have, um, you have uh, boards and you can actually have boards within boards as well. So if I move this a little back, let's see if we can find a board here. Here I have a board inside of another board and you can actually go through all of this, uh, these and add boards within boards like here as well. I can do boards within boards. Uh, that is one way of organizing. You also have tags and there are a couple of things that make tags inside of Heptabase much better than tags inside of Squintle because we have tags inside of Squintle as well. Uh, one thing is that uh, these tags right here, they can actually uh, be grouped and I can drag these groups around, but they can be grouped, which is really cool. So I can uh, use para and I can group um, tags underneath them and I can create new groups and new tags. That is one thing. The second thing is that these groups uh, or these tags, uh, quite similarly to something like Tana, can turn into databases with a table or a kanban view and i can add new properties here and they actually have quite a few properties and that is a really a nice feature to have inside of an application like this to be able to see things both in uh the both in the board view where uh, things can be a little more messy and unstructured but I can also end up structuring all of my thoughts inside of databases and have a lot of structures with uh, even um, properties and the ability to do like basic either task management or uh, project management inside of here you can also do filters uh, as you can do with a lot of the other like um, database applications so you also have daily pages here again something you do not have inside of um inside of Scrintle. uh you have uh 
daily pages where you can journal you can do tasks so let me actually just add a couple of tasks here so let's say i wanted to go for a walk today um and you can actually use this as an inbox feature as well and i can jump back and forward between days so either journal inbox feature task management there are a lot of things you can do inside of here and you can also add tags if we now jump into one of my maps uh, it has a couple of things that i really like first we have the share to web here where you can publish this whiteboard uh, to the web with a view only link uh, you can um add new cards here uh, and you also can open daily pages and you can drag things into uh, your cards from your journal that is also a neat little feature you have version history here and you can also open uh, this up to search add cards or paste a web links so i will cl close the right sidebar for now uh, you also have the ability to turn this into uh, change the navigation here to mouse navigation or trackpad navigation and you can also do some filtering here so focus mode show mention links large text at uh, small zoom and full title for folded cards i don't think i have any folded cards here so this won't work uh, you can also do show mention links that shows the back links and not only the links you have drawn. Um, one other thing is that when you draw arrows or links, uh, you can actually uh, add uh, and write what the connection between them is, which is also a neat little feature um, that um that squintle does not have at least not yet one other thing this application has that squintle also uh has is task management um the way this works is that you get your tasks from your cards and they are all consolidated into this so not a proper task management system but a way for you to manage your tasks and for a lot of people this might even be enough Squintle also has this as well. Uh, this, uh, both of these applications work with PDFs, so I can add PDFs to my boards. Um, and they have a PDF reader, so I can read uh, PDFs inside of my boards, which is great if you work a lot with PDFs. And uh, that is a huge part of uh, your work. If I just drag a card into here let's go ahead and close this and zoom into this specific card i can go into full screen mode here as well but i won't do that let's just do pdf test for this one uh, backslash pdf i can press this pdf and just upload one this is just one i have i have no clue what this is about and i can actually go ahead and i can open this up and look at it it takes a little bit of time but uh it opens up and you have the ability to area highlight so i can highlight this for example uh, and i can also go ahead and i can highlight specific parts of this pdf uh, like this so uh, the PDF reader inside of Heptabase is much better than the PDF reader inside of uh, inside of uh, Squintle. And I haven't even gone through all of it, but I just wanted to show you the basic of the PDF management inside of uh, inside of uh, inside of Heptabase I can also export the PDF uh, copy a link to it and I can add it to the sidebar like this so I can look at this while I'm working as I said a cool feature it does a great job with uh, with the uh, PDF uh, management it is probably one of the best I've seen inside of a note-taking app now let's jump into Squintle. So this is my outfit inspo board and this shows what Squintle does really well because um, the way Squintle uh, works is that you put blocks on top of the whiteboard. So not necessarily just cards, you put blocks. Uh, and that is something I really like because that means that it works better with uh, 
images so I've just put a few outfits I've had uh, because for those of you who have been around for a while I do a lot of fashion things and when I do fashion videos on my TikTok especially I just want to have saved outfits so I can just put on one of these uh, and it works much better with images uh, so that is something I do really like about this is that you put blocks inside of uh, the board instead of just cards. That also means that I have the ability to add a text block in here and just do test. And I can go ahead and I can actually turn this into a dock when I am ready. Um, I also think that uh, for general project management, uh, I think uh, Scrintle is a little bit better because the whiteboards are more versatile. Um, so as you can see here, here I have my YouTube video ideas, my blog ideas, my Facebook ideas, so more of a Kanban board style. You can also do Kanban boards inside of Heptabase with the with the tags but uh, this allows you to be a little more versatile and style them a little bit more. I can also change the color of these uh, and they have a bunch of templates here uh, for you to use. So annual roadmap, monthly planner uh, that they uh, create using blocks uh, and documents within blocks. So where uh, Heptabase calls uh, these things here for cards. Scrintle actually calls them for um, documents. So we have documents, boards, and tags. Tags are quite basic inside of uh, Scrintle. It is just tags, not much more to be said about these. They don't do anything in uh, particular. So where I think that uh, this application shines is actually when it comes to, let's go back here. Uh, I wasn't supposed to show that, but let's go to outfit inspo. Um, here um, you see where it shines. It allows you to uh, store a lot of images. Uh, it also has PDFs, so I can do like this and do backslash PDF and just upload a PDF here. Uh, let's see if we can find a PDF somewhere. Here we have a PDF and I can open this up and I get a PDF uh, reader here as well, but I don't get all of the options I have inside of, uh, inside of something like Heptabase. I can also uh, turn this into a block as well instead of having it in line so I can just see the whole PDF and I can change the color behind it like this, but it doesn't allow me to do all of the things that Heptabase allows me to do. So that is where I think the applications are different. I think um, I think uh, Heptabase is better for research, uh, but I think uh, Scrintle is better for like project management and more of an all-in-one application. Uh, I. I personally uh, like Heptabase uh, or I like Squintle better, but I think Heptabase is better, if that makes sense. So I think in general, Heptabase is a better application. It is also more developed, like this new Squintle experience came just, um, just a few uh, weeks ago. While Heptabase has been around and feels much more developed, that is the first thing uh that you need to keep in mind the second thing is that uh heptabase has uh, a use case that will work for most people like having the ability to work with text connect different things together having uh, the ability to uh, link different things together scrintle also has things like backlinks in its documents so if i jump into my apps board um you can see that I can actually link different things together here as well. Uh, I have backlinks uh, inside of here. I have tags inside of here. So it can actually do that as well. Uh, but I think um, that um, I think that Heptabase is in general better for research, mostly because of the PDFs, but also in general how the application feels and it has better search. So 
one thing to keep in mind about the uh, full text search inside of um, inside of uh, Scrintle is that I can actually write something and it will find it, but it won't actually highlight the text I'm searching for, which feels really, really annoying. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Also for task management, it is in, uh, it has the same as Heptabase does. So inside of my settings and then tasks, I can find all of my tasks here, but it is, it is still experimental and it has too many clicks for me to actually find it uh, for me to use it on a regular basis. So that is what I want to say about these. I think Heptabase is better, uh, clearly, but for a specific use case, I think that Squintle is really good. And if it continues to develop, I think that Squintle can become a great option for a lot of people, especially those who work more with images and Maybe, uh, I would maybe call Squintle a blend between Heptabase and Milanote, uh, while Heptabase is clearly the best visual uh, note-taking application for pure text-based and PDFs. And that was it for today's video. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.